everybody, welcome and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing on the best of one standard ranked ladder with our Slogurk and Titania control list. Started out with the Deathcap Glade, and we can go into the Dark Slick Shores, and... Hmm, I think we'll go Teachings of the Kirin. Alright, opponent attacks for one. No blocks. We take one. And an underdog. So... Do we play our Ludwig or the Heart Stabber here? I think... Ludwig. Get some more stuff in the graveyard. Slogurk, unfortunate. Would have loved to have drawn that. And we'll pass. Cut down. Gotcha. And they attack. And block like that. We'll absolutely take the trade if they want. Perfect. Okay, another sleeper. That's fine. So our Orochi flips. We can play Jace, or we can play the single heart stabber. We can get our Dark Slick Shores down. Next turn, we can play Jace and start locking the underdog down. We're not under a ton of pressure yet, so I'm thinking that that is the correct play. And they attack with both. We'll just take four here. And they evolve their sleeper once. And we go to 11. And they go for the throat on my Orochi. So that taps him out. We can play our Jace, lock down the underdog. And puts him to 6 loyalty, so it's gonna take a little bit for the Evolved Sleeper to take him out. We can play him and draw. That means that he just dies the next turn. I think we play him for the big loyalty. Pass him up on the underdog. And we'll play our Basayu. And we'll attack. We're not going to be using him to block the sleeper anyways. Opponent doesn't play a land, moves to combat, attacks for two, evolves once. So Jace goes down to three loyalty. If they don't have another land, yeah, that's pretty much their whole turn. Perfect. And plus one, and... Let's turn off the underdog again. We're gonna play our Shaeldred here. I wanna keep both of these lands here. We have five in play. And these are some good spell lands. The Takanuma. I'm getting back a Slogurk. Then we can start looping with the Atarawa. I think might be the end game plan here. So if they want to take their entire turn to 
kill the Jace. That is fine. Alright, down goes Jace. We draw to Tame. So if we play her, Takanuma goes down to two. Same with the Atarawa. So I think that is a pretty good play. Let's rumble. They block with their underdog. Sounds good. They draw for turn, go to 10. And they play a Shale Druid. Sure. Alright, so they do not attack. Let's channel our Tarawa. I think we'll bounce the Shale Druid. And gain some life off Titania. Draw. Gain some life off Shale Druid. Just with the heart stabber in the air. We'll play out our other heart stabber and we will hold up the Takanuma. They play a land and I'm assuming play Shaeldred again. Trigger. So we have the four lands, we just don't have an Argoth. So we can get back Slogurk, Jace, or Ludvik. I think here... Getting back Slogurk is best. Oh, I didn't realize that was my only three drop in the graveyard. Unfortunate. Well, we hit a teaching, so possibly can put another one in there. Let's play it. Yep, there we go. We hit another Slogurk. And we hit some lands, so now... Yep, we can attack for six in the air with the Heart Stabbers. They'll be at one. They won't die on upkeep because of their Shaeldred, but... Not much they can do to come back from that. GG's and thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.